Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are looking at the Rode Wireless Go system connected to the Rode Lavalier Go. Uh, additionally it's all going to be filmed on my Canon M50 with a Sigma f1.4 16mm lens. Before we unbox the uh, the Wireless Go and the Lavalier Go, I do want to point out that I am going to do uh, a live sound test uh, using the Canon M50. I will first of all do a test with no microphone. I'll then do one with the Rode Video Mic Go, which is sitting on the camera at the moment. And then I'll do one with the uh, Wireless Go and then the Wireless Go with the Lavalier Go plugged into it. So hopefully at that point, um, we'll be able to, uh, well, you'll be able to make an informed uh, decision on whether or not there's any difference and what's worthwhile or not. So anyway, let's start unboxing. So let's start with the, uh, the Lavalier Go because that's what's in my hand. Um, I haven't, I haven't touched it at all as yet. So I uh, need to rip the top off. You have to destroy the box to get into it. I was going to try and unbox it nicely, so I kept the box neat. But anyway, ho, right. So I've just pulled out of here. Let's have a look. We've got a we've got a warning label because it's a strangulation hazard apparently. Um, there's the <laughs> we've got some of the uh, moisture absorbers. Uh, there's the clip that uh, used to uh, hold the. Uh, microphone onto um, the lapel. Here we go, one insy tiny microphone which I'll be able to put on my lapel and nobody will be able to see. Uh, connect to the pack of the wireless go. Uh, I'll be able to walk around and so that should work quite well. That's good. Nice little pouch as well for that. Up there. Right, let's have a go at getting into this uh, wireless go and uh, see what uh, what we have here. Good thing about this one is it has a, a base there. Oh, I need a pen. It's handy. It's called a Funky Mic Experience pen, this one. So I will use that to uh, cut the, because uh, I don't have a knife with me. I'm not prepared for this really. There we go, right, that's that open. What have we got in here? Right, we have um, a dead cat. Assume it's a dead cat. We have a nice little pouch. We've got some paperwork. Okay, we've got the, uh, the connection from the camera to the transmitter receiver. We've got some more absorbing bits. We have another dead cat. Okay, now here is the microphone pack. Got a quick start guide on there and uh, some instructions on how to get it going. Obviously what I didn't think about was it needs uh, will need charging, won't it? So uh, that is the transmitter, I would say, because it's got a uh, got the microphone port. Yeah, this one hasn't. It's got the it's got uh, USB and uh, connection to the camera. Um, and a little display on there. USB cable. And another USB cable. So that's for charging both of these. So I'm gonna go and stick these on charge now and hopefully uh, I'll be able to get them on test very, very soon. This is test one of the Canon M50 with no 
uh, external microphones plugged in whatsoever. So I'm hoping this is like the benchmark point that we're working from. Um, I've never actually used the Canon M50 without an external microphone on it. So I will actually be interested to find out how it sounds in this room anyway. This is test two. So we are back to having the Rode uh, video mic go plugged in, which is the actual microphone that I use for literally all of the filming I've done on the Canon M50 to date, um, where there's any sound where I'm talking anyway. Uh, so hopefully we've seen an improvement now from uh, the original benchmark. So this is test three with the Rode Wireless Go connected. It's sitting on here. Now, because I've got like a bit of a jumper on, well, I've got a jumper on, and where I've clicked it on, it's hanging forward because of its weight. Um, that's the reason why I got the, uh, the lavalier go, um, so that I could put this down as a pack and have just the, the little mic up here. We'll, we'll see what this is like. Um, so uh, hopefully again we've we've lifted the bar. Um, worst scenario is we've introduced the ability to to move around um, uh, unrestricted um, to walk in and out of shot uh, and have uh, clear and coherent sound. So um, hopefully that is what's happening now. So slight issue with the test. Um, plug the lavalier mic into the uh, Rode video uh, go and it was dead. Now I'm going to assume it's the lavalier mic and not the port on the uh, Rode video uh, mic go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this back and we will pick this up um, once the replacement arrives, which will, will be literally um, a couple of days. Um, and so hopefully at that point, everything works. So, um, although it'll be one cut, it will be in a few days. It's been a few days since I recorded that last segment uh, and I've had a delivery. Let's hope it is what I'm expecting. Whoa! One road, lavalier go. Replacement for my faulty road, lavalier go. So, let's see if this one works with the wireless go system. I've unboxed it, I've connected it, it's sitting there. I should tap it a bit, you could probably hear that. Um, hopefully there is sound coming through. At this point I don't know if there's sound coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check and, uh, and then hopefully I'm going to be really pleased. So there we go, I have uh, the uh, Rode Wireless Go um, connected with the Lavalier Go. I can now put that, clip that wherever I, I wish and have a small microphone like this. And uh, I'm unimpeded and I should have the best sound quality I can possibly have for doing my vlogs. Now, there's a, only you can judge this at the moment. Um, so please let me know, does it sound any better? Is it worth doing? Is it worth having? Um, I've always used the, the, the Video Go shotgun mic up to date. Um, and then I thought I'd get go wireless so it's, I'm not uh, restricted. Um, but I only wanted to go wireless with the lavalier mic connected to it. Uh, so it just gave me that little bit more. Um, I didn't want this big lump weighing and looking stupid. So anyway, let's know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Is it any better? Um, has it improved the sound? Hopefully so. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did one of these, if not, hey ho. And until next time, oh, if you wouldn't mind considering subscribing, it'd be really appreciated. Uh, like, 
share, possibly. Anyway, till next time.